ladies and gentlemen, it's finals time. For one, it's a return to familiar ground from a couple years back, looking for a chance at redemption, but for the other, well, it's a chance to make his mark on history. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the Marbles World Championship Season 2 Grand Finals between Joe and Patrice! Exclamation point play. Get your butts in here, because we are going in! John joins us very late. Thanks for having you. Joe, Patrice, you both are in. There's Mia. Now, Joe is still holding up the flag for the pink train. It lost all of its cars except for the one at the front, the most important one. But if there's nothing else to it, we might as well start it. Just get this ball rolling. It's a best of seven this time instead of a best of five. So four rounds is what you need to win. You had another issue that you... <laughs> Got it. Got it, dude. We will not use it. Oh, man. And Tufo joining. Very late. Good job. But, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Patrice has the better, uh, the better start compared to Joe. So we'll see just who makes it through. There's an extra round after the championship's over. We might as well. Why not? You'd spend an hour in it. All right, fair enough. Please, Jimin. The first round is upon us. Joe, Patrice, $50 on the line. And despite there being dice, they are not slowing anybody down. In fact, our two competitors are pretty even, although Patrice does take the early advantage here in the first round on Mad Lovely Fate. And you have to think, whose fate will these maps favor today? Patrice... Very rapid descent. Oh, that's a new piece. I haven't seen that little spinny block before. But there's Joey. Gets buried. Feels like a COD Zombies map for him. Patrice, though, is not letting that falter him at all. He's a little bit slow. Down the stairs, Joe trying to make a bit of a comeback. He's getting caught, and that's not good for him, because that is going to make things extremely difficult as we come up towards the finish, made for Eng Engel, Angel, Angel, whatever, close enough. Patrice, though, slowly snaking his way through, but here comes Joe, here comes the Dutch man. Again, he's looking for redemption from two, er, from two years ago. Going into the finals against Rel. 1-4 was the final call from that. And he's very slow. These dice, though, take a very long time to disappear. So for Patrice, this is actually very good. Because that'll give him a chance. But Joe, does he sneak around the outside? No, he doesn't. He isn't able to do it. And Patrice is closing in on taking this first round. But if Joe can find a little bit of extra pace somewhere if those dice can go down immediately he could do it there's me i'm just vibing patrice rolling around waiting for it there's fita but where is joe he's nowhere to be found but the track isn't over yet this goes on for quite a while damn there he is but i think it may be too little too late unless joe goes down and immediately goes middle he's got to get down right now and he has to dive down. Can he do it? He's stuck on something. I'm not sure what it is, but here he goes. Does he get the middle path? No, he doesn't. And it looks like Patrice will be taking the first round here over the Dutchman. And for Patrice, that is round number one secured for him. Joe, a couple of missteps here and there. And that's not what you want, but it is a first round. It's A-OK. -okay. We go on. Round number two. Round two. Swirly, timeless sunshine. And I'm thinking we all need a little bit of sunshine, honestly. I'm getting some right now. Or it might be cloudy. I'm not certain. It was pouring earlier, but who cares? It's been a long season, but it all comes down to today. Off we go for round number two. We look for Patrice. We look for Joe. Both of them getting fairly good exits. I think Joe has the advantage going in, though. But you know how these elevators work with this piece. They gotta fix it, I swear to God. They gotta put something up there to get you to 
get out of it quicker. Because watching marbles go up and down, or doing what Zeet does and just immediately dipping, is always good. But Joe does get through. Can he find a gap to work with? Oh, the dice go away instantaneously. Oh. Oh, no, no, Joe. He's going to fall down. And Joe immediately loses round two. Doesn't even get a chance to see the world. Because, well, that's what happens. So Patrice already taking a two-game lead. Right at the start. He got... What happened? He hit this. Went up and over. Found, like, the one gap. Right here, I assume. And then bounced off of this. And then went straight down. You think if he was a little bit more, could he have made the... The drop here, could he have made it down here? I wonder if it's possible to get to the finish. I don't think it is, unless you get an extremely lucky bounce. That seems highly unlikely, but world record definitely cuts. So right now it is, uh, well, just sort of a, a show lap, really, for Zeet. I mean, he's, uh, he's, he's, hasn't been here, but he's definitely showing up. What's world record? World record is a 4490 by... Don't even know. Can't even tell you the name. Could not even tell you. But we just wait on Zeke to uh, get to the end here. If this were the regular season, he would have a, uh, a win, but not enough. What if Patrice dies? Doesn't matter. If someone, whoever of those two dies first, the round immediately goes to the other. But see, just a nice little curve there for him. And another one, yep. What is this? Lou. I guess the map is for Lou. And there's Patrice. Ross is in second. John in third. What a, what a season John had. 17 wins. And then goes out the very first. The very first round. Always rough. And there's me. There's Fida, Tufo, Frakia, and Mia. And that will round out the grid. For race number two. Patrice, first round swinging, second round didn't have to do all too much. And that's very good news for him. Well, if you can have more of those, it should be a quick over, under, and out. How about the Great Celebration map? Or the Celebration Great map? I'm dyslexic, probably. Made of gold. John, or sorry, not John, Patrice. Up by two already. As we take to the streets of... I can't quite tell what country we're in. Something European, though. I'm gonna say Italy, because why not? Italy's pretty. Anyways. So there's a couple paths you can take. I don't know which one would be the fastest. But right now, Joe, with the slight advantage... Oh, I think Patrice may have a better one, unless that second spiral brings things back into contention. But for right now, Patrice is in the lead. Where is he? Get over here. Oh, big Plinko machine. How does this play out? Patrice moving immediately. Oh, he's stuck. Joe's going to take advantage of this. He's going to close the gap up. He's using John, the fellow Frenchie, to try and get back there. All right, so down we go again. Patrice still in the lead. Joe, though, very close behind, relatively speaking. Zeet in the lead, though. Can't say I'm too surprised. And what did I think of Cup of the Day? Very good map. Very good map. Plus, plus. Very plus, plus. But we're uh, closing in. Looks like the uh, the blue walls, maybe a bit of a boost. We'll see. No, they just keep you going. But Patrice, oh, he's not having the best exit. Can Joe take advantage? Joe doesn't get the best exit either. Oh, he's swirling around. This is very bad news for him. This is not going to be good. Double Ferris wheel. Oh, there's a portal up here. I bet that goes straight to the end if you get it right. There's Joe. Has showed up. Can he get the rotations good? Does he somehow find the gap? Joe rockets into the front. Patrice tries to go down the middle. Gets stopped by the big, o the big old brushes. Tries to throw a block. It doesn't work. Patrice moves through, as do I. Oh, but Patrice hits a peg. 
Joe also hits a peg, gets slowed down. He's just getting the worst time slowdowns you can even imagine. Does he get an he gets a great exit out of the out of the mixer? And Joe takes game number three and keeps his playoff hopes alive or keeps his his championship hopes alive. Game three. And it is finals, Fita. This is for all the marbles, quite literally. Just Tufo and myself left to go. There's John. And there I go. And Sploosh. And Tufo joins us. Round four, though, coming up here on Battleship Shenanigans. You guys know how I feel about shenaniganery. And it looks like we're going to be getting some of that here. I see some portals. This might be a game of chance. We'll see. Make sure you call out where you're putting your shots. Oh, Joe, come on. Already. A very slow start. Saying that he's just letting Patrice win on me. What an absolute legend. So let's go, let's go with me. I'll lead the I'll lead the way, guys. Don't worry. Your trusty leader is always here. Alright, this is very unenthusiastic. Oh. Oh, hold on a second. So it changes. Do they rotate? I think they rotate. Alright. Well. Now we uh now we wait. I thought this would be a better shenaniganery map. I might have been wrong. This is very slow. But let's see. There's Patrice. Can Joe find a block on somebody? Because if he gets a block, but he won't. I was going to say, if he gets a block, that would be clutch. There's John and Tufo. Where did they go? Up there? Oh, I see it. Okay. And then you drop into there. Holy... How calculated is this map? Oh, this is one of those things. You have to get the right portal. So this could work out for somebody. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we've got a traffic jam. We have a traffic jam. The door's closed. And look at that. The two, the two competitors, Joe and Patrice, they're shocked. They can't believe it. The doors are closed. There's two Fofita and myself. But how does this play? The anticipation builds. Just gonna slip on by you, gentlemen. Oh, that was like perfectly timed. That was sick. Into the portals. Where do we go? Up top. If this leads to the end. No, it doesn't. It just needs a little further. Joe is really... That start has done him in entirely. It's completely screwed him up. So unless he gets a good exit... Better than, than Patrice, he's going to be hurting for a lot of this. And he continues to get held up. But he does... Make up ground... Let's see where this takes us. Is it to the end? No, it's not. Not yet. But Joe, finally, with the lead here. Patrice is now the one lagging behind. The gates are staying open. Joe hoping that they close. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Oh, this isn't good. Oh, no, he got caught. Joe gets caught on, like, every single bit of it. Oh, this can't... But here's the thing. If if this is the end, which I doubt, there's still the spinner to go through. So he could gain some time. You can see how close they are. But Patrice! Patrice gets blocked by the mustachio! And it will be Joe that somehow gets the timing just right and will pick up game four. How close was that? Patrice was up front, fell behind a little bit. Retook the advantage. But perhaps that bit of greed is what did him in. So let's chill things out a bit more of chill, angelic chaos for round 
Number five. Near some bass. Who's ready for some music? Oh well. Round five. Chill, Angelic Chaos. Joe with the better spawn. Actually, no, I think Joe and Patrice's spawn are roughly the same. Here we go. Does anybody get stuck? No, but Joe takes advantage as Patrice is slow. Tufo somehow dies. I don't know how that happened, but he did, so R.I.B. The boy. But this is going to be a very important round. Whoever wins this round is on championship point. And right now, Joe looking to make it happen. Looking to be the one that does it. Ooh, but the drop isn't good. And Patrice times it to perfection. The little switch there. Almost like he knew he was coming through. But he is in the sights of Joe. You can see how much more we have to go. What's to say? Simon Diamond G. Yes, sir. That's Simon Diamond G. I don't know who it is, but yeah, brother. Where's Patrice and Joe? So they took the high road. Oh, Patrice goes around the co around the brush. And that's great because that gives him more of a buffer to work with. Joe just now coming down the stairs. I guess he might have missed his alarm clock. And yeah, Tufo died. Found the, uh, found the hole in the wall. Ooh, that was scary. And now, now how does Patrice do this? Does he get hit? He doesn't. He gets around, but he's still got a couple of other spinners to work with. Doesn't time it, but it doesn't matter. He gets the speed boost. This is opening things up for him. This is beautiful. I see some dice. How much do those play into it? Where is Joe? Joe just now coming through. Slips by the spinners absolutely perfectly. And now... Oh, I thought he, just, I thought he got the exit. Oh, he did get the exit. He does get the exit, and he runs into the opposition... He does. Does he get out of it, though? He's trying to find the exit, and he does. Does he dodge the dice? He just slips by. He likes to keep it teasingly close. But there's a middle path. It's filled with dice. Patrice could find the line and go middle. Does he? Oh, he doesn't, but I do. You wonder how much could this change if... He had gone down the middle. It looks like it wouldn't have mattered because Joe is on championship point. He is looking to set things straight from two years ago. Where Rel absolutely destroyed him four games to one. Or sorry, three games to one. Round six, Patrice in a must-win situation here on Charming Bemusing Carnival. The spawn goes his way, but can he convert that into a win? That's going to be the big question here. If he takes this round, then he will have a chance to deny Joe for what would be a second marbles or a second chance at the crown. We drop down here just to see what's going on. Joe does have an advantage, and there are the pegs rising, rising from their nests, ready to cause some havoc as the marbles drop in. Joe's getting held up a bit. Patrice is still very slow coming down. There's a long way to go. There's a chance at death. And if Joe finds the wrong one, well, that could be it. Patrice, a lot of speed. Using the booster, he's going to bring this back. Does he find... A route that gets him around the outside. He doesn't. Z, though, does, surprisingly. Wouldn't be surprised, though. Uh, but, yeah, Z... You know, Z was gone for a while, and then he came back, and now he's just winning everything. Uh, but Patrice, if he had if he had just gotten a slightly better line, it maybe would have worked out a bit more in his favor. Joe comes through, gets hit by the pegs. Oh, they're going down. Could this push Patrice back into it? No! It's mistimed so heavily, but he does get a slight boost, so... Oh, he's getting held up. He's having problems. He can't get the marble turned around. Opportunities to overtake, slowly dissipating. Joe, running second place, third place actually, because Viewers is up front with Zeet. But Patrice, this is not 
This is not the round he wants. There really isn't a lot of opportunities to overtake. If Joe can just keep the momentum going and can avoid things spinning in the wrong direction, he may take this. As he comes up to the next set, it's going to get slowed down, but he's going to get batted to the side. That's very good news for him, although viewers does get in the way a little bit. Patrice, he's got to hope for a miracle. But unfortunately, Joe has other plans. Gets an amazing line through the cubes. And I think this may be it. That may be the nail in the coffin. Z giving a bit of a draft there. A bit of a slipstream to the Dutch man himself. As we head down the final spiral. Patrice put up one hell of an effort. But it may not be enough. Does Zeet give the round win to Joe? He moves aside. He lets the Dutchman through. Ladies and gentlemen, Joe has conquered his demons from two years back. And he is going to win the Marvel's World Championship Season 2 Grand Finals. Patrice, you put up one hell of an effort. But unfortunately, it just wasn't in the cards. But at the very least... You did better than Joe did in the first in his first outing. Because he only got one round. You got two. I was fully expecting a game seven. But that is not how it's going to be. So for Patrice, unfortunately, it is over, under, and out for Joe. Not only does he win the championship, he wins the round just to really make it just that much better. Joe's speech is, I did it all for you, Rel. You won for me and no one beat me, so you're the best one. That's a damn good one. But, uh, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for us here. Thank you all for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed your stay. Thank you to all the guys and gals out there who marbled with us. I don't know when we'll do this again, but hopefully sometime soon. Maybe next year, maybe before the end of the year. Who knows? But hopefully you enjoyed the show. Hopefully you enjoyed everything these guys put together for you. I know I certainly did. But... Yes, goodbye YouTube. Everybody say goodbye to YouTube. We're not done here on stream just yet, but we are goodbying to YouTube. But yes, that is it for us. Guys, thank you so much for stopping by. Remember to like, favorite, comment, subscribe, all that. Share it all out there. Hope to see you on stream as well. But until next time, stay safe, stay beautiful. We'll see you out there.